It's that time. We're going to play quarterback to quarterback. Luckily, we have two of them. Matt Leinart, Donovan McNabb. There are four games we are looking at this weekend. So we begin, gentlemen, with the Colts and the Chiefs. So, Donovan, you have Alex Smith. We know the success he had this year with the Chiefs, but what does he need to do now in the postseason? Well, I think he has a control of football, first and foremost. Be official on <laughs> third down. Be a game manager <laughs> to make sure he why? does the right thing. Why? Why are you it's okay, at? Matt. It's okay. But in that first <laughs> game, they so played wrong. against the Indianapolis Colts. He turned the football over once. That's they ran the football very well with Jamal Charles, but he's going to have to do a much better job on third down, and that means continuing to move the chains and find themselves in position to win the game. Playing against the Indianapolis Colts, he was outplayed by Andrew Luck, and I think when you play solid defense, you run the football, good things can happen. Andrew Luck gets the luxury of playing at home. What does he need to do? He needs to be kept upright with Justin Houston and Tom Lee back. The Chiefs defense is finally healthy, so I think it's going to be huge for the Colts' offensive line to protect Andrew Luck. If Andrew Luck has time, He'll be able to pick this defense apart like he did in the last game. Uh, rely on T.Y. Hilton, who's become a pretty big-time receiver for them. Donald Brown, I think, is going to be an X-factor in this game. And the home field advantage is huge. All right. We need to find a run game. It's this weekend. A little yeah. late for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Probably waiting. should have thought about Better that. late than never. All right, so uh, Saturday night will be a cold one in Philly for the Saints and the Eagles. Drew Brees, Nick Foles. So, Matt, I want to start with you. Drew Brees, they've lost three of their last five games in the regular season. We know how good Drew Brees is, but in the cold, in Philly, what does he have to do? The first thing when you're an opposing quarterback is you want to take the home crowd out of the game. You know this. We both know this as a quarterback. So I think what the Saints need to do in Drew Brees is start fast, move the chain, score points early to take this home field, to take the home crowd out of the game. If they can't do that, it's going to be a long night for Drew Brees and the Saints offense. Obviously, Drew Brees is great. He's a Hall of Famer. But he's at his best when he's able to go to the line of scrimmage, to audible, to call different plays. They package plays. And if he can evaluate a defense without it being crazy and hectic, mm -hmm. they got a good shot. You've been there before. It's been crazy and hectic. What does Nick Foles need to do at home? Don't get caught up in the emotions. Right now, playing in Philadelphia, the fans are fired up. They're telling you how great you are. Probably getting food for free out there in Philadelphia. <laughs> right now, the fans are going to be fired. They're going to be tailgating from 5 to 6 o'clock in the morning on. So for him, I think he has to protect the football. Continue to give LaShawn McCoy opportunities. That means run the football, run the screen game, and take your shots downfield. And when you take your shots downfield, at least complete 50% of it or 45% of it. And that now puts pressure on Rob Ryan to come up with different schemes. Yes, if you play man on the outside versus Riley Cooper, Jason Avant, Deshaun Jackson, it works in the favor of Philadelphia. But you have to complete the ball. Don't be a homer. Who wins this one? Uh, well, I can't be a homer, so I'm going to say Philadelphia because they haven't lost a first-round playoff game in Philadelphia since a couple years ago. Who's that was the their fault. <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> Chargers, Bengals, Phillip Rivers, Andy Dalton. Uh, Donovan, we know that these two quarterbacks, yeah. they're either great or they're not so great. There's a lot of inconsistencies. So what does Phillip Rivers need to do here? Well, Phillip Rivers, what we've seen so far is he's been protecting the football, but he's been getting the ball out. Ken Wins and Hutton and McCoy have come up with a great scheme to get guys involved. Danny Woodhead is a major factor, and Antonio Gates. Find ways to get Antonio Gates involved more. And then the X factor, again, I go to Danny Woodhead. Danny Woodhead is a guy not only can run the football, but he catches the ball well out of the backfield. Andy Dalton, Matt. Well, if he wakes up and decides he wants to be the quarterback that throws 33 touchdowns or he wants to be the quarterback that threw four picks last week right. against the Ravens, Andy Dalton, if I'm Andy Dalton, I wake up and say, I have arguably the best defense in the NFL right now. I'm at home. I have A.J. Green. I have a playmaker in Giovanni Bernard who's become a real threat for them. Mm -hmm. Don't do too much. Don't force the ball. Take what the defense gives you. Rely on your defense. Get a home win and move on. All right, let's turn our attention to the last game. 49ers at the Packers. We know how cold this game is going to be, but Colin Kaepernick, Aaron Rodgers, Matt, let's start with you. Aaron Rodgers, first game last week, coming off of, you know, the breaking his collarbone. He missed seven games. What does he have to do? Well, this is the first time he's actually had a running game. The first time they played, they didn't have a running game. They didn't know what Eddie Lacy was. Now he can rely more on this running, especially with the weather. The ball is going to be... Frozen, I believe. It's going to be yeah. frozen. <laughs> um, Aaron Rodgers plays well in cold weather. You know, he's used to it. I don't think that's going to be a big deal for them. But just just Eddie Lacy, and he can't, Aaron Rodgers can't turn the ball over in the red zone like he did last week, even though they did come back and win. Um, so I think Aaron Rodgers, the experience, and, and they got a battle against the Niners, man. They got some uh, some revenge to go. Uh, Colin Kaepernick was outstanding in week one against yeah. this team. He put up four, threw for 412 yards. It's going to be a different game in Lambeau. Quickly, Donovan, Colin Kaepernick is successful if he does what? Think warm thoughts. <laughs> because <laughs> it's a lot colder than you think. But run the football, play good defense. And for him, I think it's important just connect with the football. That means get completions, move the ball, utilize your legs, and score touchdowns. 
It's going to be a good one. We all know how this works. Win and you stay in. Playoff football is upon us, and this has been quarterback to quarterback Matt Johnson.